Welcome back to Zion's Redemption Radio Network. Uh, today we will be covering chapter 18 of Teachings of the Doctrine of Eternal Lives. This chapter is entitled Elijah and John the Baptist. The Apostle Matthew Jesus began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, a prophet, Yea, I say unto you, and more than a prophet, this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send, I send my messenger before my face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. Verily I say unto you, Among them that are born of women, there hath not arisen a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John, and if ye will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. Matthew chapter 11, 7 through 14. The concordant version translates, translate it as, And if you are willing to receive him, he is Elijah. Matthew chapter 11, concordant, literal New Testament version. Why then do our teachers say that Elijah must come first? He replied, Yes, Elijah will come and set everything right, but I will but I tell you that Elijah has come already come, and they failed to recognize him, and he worked their will upon him, and worked their will upon him, and in the same way the Son of Man is to suffer at their hands. Then the disciples understood that he meant John the Baptist, Matthew 17, 10 through 13 of the New English Version. See also Matthew chapter 17, through, uh, 10 through 13 in the King James Version. When Jesus came unto the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do send, Who do men say that I am? I the Son of Man am. And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, so one of the prophets. Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 through 14. Truman J. Manson stated, A Jewish apocalyptic tradition says that those two prophets who are to one day testify in the streets of Jerusalem to prepare the hearts of the Jews to be turned to the prophets and are then to literally be killed and lie in the streets as martyrs just before the coming of the Messiah, our Elijah and Enoch. And uh, he's quoting Doctrine and Covenants section 98, verses 16 through 17, and also I think uh, he's getting that from Revelations chapter 11. But anyway, that comes from uh, Truman G. Manson, The Radiant Life, uh, page 108. So that's the end of the reading for this chapter. Um, I find it interesting that um, John the Baptist was an Elias who was sent to set the house of God in order, and that there's no greater prophet than John the Baptist. Um, some people believe that this means that John the Baptist and Elijah were the same person, and that John the Baptist he is the third member of the Godhead. Um, that's a pretty far out there, uh, I don't know, interpretation or uh, speculation as far as I'm concerned. But um, I think it was uh, Joseph Smith who taught that the different prophets, um, that there's different offices and roles and that Elijah was um, had the role of setting the house of God in order at a certain point and that there would be other prophets who would have the same role. Um, I know because in 2013 God revealed to me, he actually came to me and told me to kneel down before him and ask him who I am. And when I did that, he took me up in the spirit and I saw... Um, I saw the throne of the Father, the Son, and the Witness, or the Holy Ghost, and in front of them I saw twelve, 
And God revealed to me, the Father revealed to me, that these twelve were all mighty and strong, and that the Father, the Son, and the Witness are also mighty and strong. So Elijah was mighty and strong. Um, in fact, for the first dispensation, our father Adam was mighty and strong. And that in that dispensation, the dispensation of the morning star, who Adam was, um, that there was Enoch who was mighty and strong, and Noah who was mighty and strong, and Elijah who was mighty and strong. Um, oh, Moses was also mighty and strong. So there was uh, five for each dispensation, um, including the father who is Michael. And that for the next dispensation, the dispensation of uh, the bright and morning star, who Jesus is, or Yeshua in the Hebrew, there is John the Baptist, who was an Elias to prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah, who is Jesus, or Yeshua, and he is mighty and strong, and so is Jesus. And that Peter, James, and John were also mighty and strong, and that there were five for that dispensation. And that there would be five for this dispensation as well, who would be considered mighty and strong before the Lord of the whole earth, which is Jehovah our Elohim, who is not Jesus Christ. He's above Jesus Christ. Uh, and that Joseph Smith was an Elias to prepare the way for Messiah ben Joseph, and that Joseph Smith would be mighty and strong. And that Messiah ben Joseph, or God the Witness, come in the flesh, would be mighty and strong. And that there would be three others that would assist in the work, who are also mighty and strong. So I just think it's interesting that um, John the Baptist was to set in order certain things to prepare the way for the coming of, of Jesus, who is our Messiah. So, anyway... That's all I have for this chapter. The next chapter is called Elias, Elijah, Elias, Elijah, Noah, and John the Baptist. So thank you for watching. Take care, everyone. Uh, thank you for listening on the podcast as well. Hope everyone has a blessed day. Goodbye.